So today's speaker is uh, Arifula. Uh, he is one of organizers, and it was basically uh, very brave from him to be the first uh, because this is a new scene and uh, <laughs> uh, not uh, very well established. So we'll try to explain uh, first what is uh, SMLQC and uh, what is our vision behind it. Uh, so first of all, uh, it is uh, dedicated to machine learning and quantum chemistry, but we also uh, see now that uh, many new interesting developments are in quantum computing, uh, where machine learning is actually also playing a big role. as an algorithm for machine learning on quantum computers, and that is now increasingly applied to quantum chemistry. That's why we kind of extended this uh, topic uh, to very broad ones, uh, also inspired by our uh, SACAM um, workshop, uh, which we organized uh, recently. Uh, Julia was also co-organizer and she is here. And uh, that's why back then we already saw that uh, this is becoming something we need to include. Uh, the main difference from other usual uh, seminars, online seminars, is that we don't just provide online lectures. We actually uh, do requests from speakers to also provide hands-on experience uh, uh, for participants so that they can actually learn from it. So it's kind of a uh, short schools, uh, <clears throat> and then it's spread over uh, the year, so there is no break, uh, and uh, then you can uh, uh, learn from these tutorials. And that's why we want to invite people who do uh, this research, who actually write the code, who know the code. Uh, so they are typically young researchers, postdocs, and PhDs. Uh, and we will uh, see, like, uh, uh, in the future also many uh, new people who uh, give uh, excellent uh, uh, research and uh, basically who have nice uh, uh, results that we can read and uh, we're interested in. And since we have Slack uh, uh, platform, so there we can also exchange some uh, interesting uh, papers uh, that uh, we may want to uh, uh, learn more about uh, and uh, check the code so we can invite people from these uh, uh, papers too. Uh, so more information on this website, which you can see here. And you can check it uh, there. We also update it on uh, information on Facebook and uh, Twitter. So the links to the social media platforms uh, are also on this website. Uh, we also um, basically use these seminars to bridge uh, big SMLQC symposia, which is biennial event uh, hosted in different regions. So the first one was uh, in 2021. It was in uh, hosted in Chamen, although it was virtual event due to COVID. Uh, now, in this year, we'll have it in Uppsala, in Sweden. We started, uh, <clears throat> basically, uh, Roland Lind started to organize it already, and uh, we had some exchange. So uh, more news will come later. Uh, please uh, subscribe to our channels, and then you will uh, be notified in time when we have some uh, news about this uh, big symposium. Uh, now, as for organizers, uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, me here, uh, and uh, uh, Julia, you also can see online, so she will uh, uh, also introduce uh, Arif, who is uh, also is the first speaker, and we also have Max Pinero Jr., who suggested many uh, good ideas for these uh, tutorials. Uh, basically, he was... Uh, the one who was suggesting the hands-on uh, 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 part of it. So that's uh, up to him. And uh, Alexei Kononenko is uh, also uh, one of our co-organizers. Uh, so you will uh, learn. Uh, <clears throat> so we also uh, have uh, uh, new members uh, coming. Uh, because we want to cover many different uh, areas of research and uh, Machine learning and quantum chemistry is very, very broad. Right? And we also have many different regions, so we want also to have uh, diverse uh, coverage of uh, the whole world. Uh, now, as for the speaker, Yulia will introduce. Uh, so here, um, 
I will just tell the, the next, we also have already scheduled for the next speakers. And uh, there is uh, Max Pinero Jr., also Pascal Friedrich from Kasru Institute of Technology, Daniel schwarzberg koda uh, and uh, Johannes Margraf. Uh, many of these names uh, probably you know because uh, they you can find them in many good papers. Uh, 